You know we're in for a good time when there's a package and scissors involved. In fact, I got two packages. I should have, I think, four, but at least three. Two of them haven't been sent yet from Poshmark, so I'm just going to go with these two, and we're going to get into them right now. So if you want to see what I purchased on Poshmark, either to keep or to flip, or a little bit of both, stick around. And I may film the second part when the other packages come in, if they get there or here before I post this. All right, so hold on, let me scissor and not talk at the same time. I'll be right back. Okay, back. And actually, we'll start with the first box because it's easier and it's on my lap right now. By the way, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. If you do not know me, I'm a Poshmark and eBay seller. I also sell a little bit on the Depop. And uh, I thought we'd just see what I have purchased from Poshmark. A couple of these things are perhaps for me because I was in a mood. We'll see. All right, first things first is just this vintage, I believe. Maybe not. It's a 1X Erica Christmas cardigan because who does not need a Christmas cardigan? Seriously, look at that cuteness. So that might be for me. One of the things right now with online schooling is... I figure I just need to be a goofball, like, online. I mean, normally when I dress up to first school, I dress up, like, differently than other teachers anyway, just because that's my style. But wearing little weird, cheesy, funky stuff, actually, it's pretty cute, just will help to add some life to looking at bunches of blank little screens because most of the students don't put their cameras on. So it's just me talking to myself. I guess I should be used to that because that's what I'm doing here. I mean, the 50 of you who I can count on every time to watch my videos, you are amazing. And I so absolutely adore you. And for those of you who are new and just starting, I hope you stick around and watch too and leave comments down below. Just because it's nice to be nice. All right, what else is in this box? Oh, this is cute. This is vintage as well. This is real vintage. Uh, this is a size large sweater graphics. And it is this really fun... Oh, hello, my glasses. There we go. They're either blaring or flowing off my nose. Glaring, I mean. Uh, just a really cool vintage dad sweater. Had to pick that up. Oh, it goes in the washi pile. I mean, so did that, but I just put it over there. And then, did all I get in here was vintage sweaters, apparently. This is a small vintage acrylic wool blend. Um, look at this. Very, very cute vintage argyle sweater. So I thought this would go fun with the preppy kind of thing that's on trend for fall. How cute would that be with a cute little plaid skirt with mom jeans, with whatever you want to wear it with, but it's so super cute. I had to grab it. Okay, that wasn't, I thought it was one of the bigger boxes, but it just is sweaters. I guess I only got three sweaters from there. I have to look back at my order. I think I got more, but maybe not. All right, and then this little envelope in its own little burrito. I don't remember what this is, so let's see. Oh yes. This is a vintage Pendleton uh, newsboy cap in the red and green. Has the snap close. It is pretty decent on the inside. There is some fading to the label. Is that upside down? Yes, to the label. Uh, but otherwise it looks pretty good. There's not a lot of dirt or anything. We'll give it a good little brush and clean, but I love me some Pendleton, so had to grab that. And since I wanted to grab this, obviously I had to grab a few more things because I'm not going to pay shipping on just a hat. So what else did I get? Oh, this I think is also Pendleton. This is a vintage Pendleton scarf. Wool, lovely and scratchy for the neck, uh, but Pendleton, good. And I figure if I have someone who's looking for Pendleton in my closet, because I do have a, a number of, oh, there's a little, there's a little snag right there that wasn't disclosed. I will pull it through and hopefully I can weave it kind of back in so it doesn't show or pop out again. Uh, what else is in here? Just the last thing. Wow, this is going to be a short video if those other packages don't get here, which means I'll probably not show you this video until those other packages do get here. What is this? This is a, oh, Adriana Papel size two petite. I don't think it's a vintage one or is not much of a vintage one, but it is just this really cute lace with the mesh detail around the collar and then a little bit of a mesh ruffle down here. 
super cute has a little tie waist just a ribbon tie let's see are you in good condition you look like you're in very good condition all right so that was happy but apparently I need to steam the mesh down here look at how cute that is uh, apparently those were the two smaller orders I placed uh, which means I will probably not be posting this until <laughs> the other box at least one box I think I have one maybe two box comes in because otherwise this is gonna be a five minute video which might mean that y'all watch it but someone's bound to stop watching after two minutes and that'll just kill the analytics all right I'll see you when the other box comes in bye for now okay the next two packages from Poshmark finally arrived and by that I mean they came in and I finally got to the post office to pick them up actually the last one just arrived today maybe yesterday so let's see what is in these boxes that I got to uh Maybe flip online. Whew. That is stuffed full. Okay. Let's see what's in the box. It's just gonna all come out together. Most oh my gosh. What did I get? in a very vintagey and by vintagey I mean grandma chic kind of cheesy sort of mood so prepare yourself especially for this first one um, they're all wrapped all right this one is just a vintage Laurel Canyon size large it has this lovely little plaid detail but then it comes down to the Noah's Ark theme and also the plaid detail on the sleeves. It is just hilarious. I could not pass it up. Look at that. Oops, bags down, has a little, <laughs> oh my gosh. And then on the back, a little elephant patch. I could not pass that up. And I don't know, that may be, that's actually a hand done addition to this top. That's fun. Um, though I'm, this little flappy thing here is interesting, but you can still get to the pocket behind. So that is actually a hand done detail. Someone has done this on their own. Really cute. Love that. I had to pick it up because, you know, okay, now this I'm worried about because this is supposed to be a hat. We'll see if that will spring back into shape. I tend to package my hats separately and like stuff them so they don't get squished. This is fortunately... Not too bent out of shape, um, a little bit. This is a vintage uh, Merriam left court, handcrafted in Italy. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. Just this really cute little hat, and obviously it's fairly packable. It's sprung back into shape decently. I may have to steam a little, see if I can get some of the shape to the top back, because there are places I'm not sure it's supposed to be fully up. I think it's supposed to be in here, but we'll see. So it's just really cute. Hat, I think that one might have been a free with purchase or something. I don't know, but I, that's actually the reason why I bought everything here. So there you go. Or maybe this one. I can't remember. I, like I said, I was in a very granny chic mood, and by granny chic, I'm talking about cheesy Christmas sweater oh my gosh so this is possibly for me because for my whole life I've resisted wearing like the holiday attire just because my mom was a first grade teacher so every year like literally she had all the seasons with all the jewelry to match and all of the things so I, I resisted doing that but being at home I thought it might be fun to have just some really cheesy kind of fun things so this is just a Karen Scott 1x I believe it's a vintage Karen Scott I think so, yes. Um, so it's in really good condition and it just has this really fun embroidery on it with some sparkles, some gold buttons. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm actually gonna keep it. Who knows, but it was fun, so I grabbed it. Oh, this is cool. All right. Like I said, I was in a mood. It happens to the best of us, but this gorgeous thing. This is cachet, and I don't know if it's the store cachet, and if it is, it's really a vintage version of that because it is tapestry, 
puff sleeves cropped with the, the sparkling buttons, the princess seaming. It is absolutely stunning. This I saw and I had to get it. And I really, there were a few other people who had liked it. And I didn't even wait to see if the person would give me a discount. I just bought the whole bundle because of this coat. It does have shoulder pads that come out to help hold the puff sleeve up. This is something I'm definitely going to list on a couple places. Uh, it will likely sell on Poshmark, but I'm going to also list it on Depop because isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful. What size are you, darling? You are a 7'8". And it will be interesting for me to see if that cachet is the same as the store cachet. Anyway, it's fabulous. You go over here because I'm pretty certain you're not machine wash, but I will look. All right, we got two more things from that box. All of them along the same lines. Like I said, I was in such a mood. Anyway, I don't know, how, how are you doing? How is your sourcing going now that it's turning to fall? We have had, again, weird weather. So it's been in the 80s until today. And it's raining for the next four days. My garden is still kind of holding on. Uh, I had to get this simply because of the cheesiness of it. I could not pass it up. It is handmade I believe it is from it's not quilted so the fabric is printed like this um it just is so fourth of july-esque and it's just tongue-in-cheek funny uncle sam on the bicycle back here made in the usa you could reverse it and wear it on the other side if you wanted just because it's just a plain red i don't think it actually buttons i think it's open yeah it does have buttons on the stars, but it doesn't open. I mean, but it doesn't button. I don't know why I got that exactly. It just amused me. So there we go. I, I can't explain that one actually. I, yeah, I can. So there we go, I got it. Someone will buy it and love it because it is stinking cute, but yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is an extra large. It is also, again, along those lines of an ugly Christmas sweater, but it is not ugly at all. So cute. I thought this one might fit me because it's an extra large. It might, um, but it has this cute little detail, like the mittens are hanging down, but they're the pockets instead. So it's just super cute. And I think that one's vintage. Uh, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Well, it's older, but I don't know if it's 90s vintage. Anyway, it's super cute. I'll do some research on it. Had to grab it. Okay, that was, they got a lot in that box. Seriously. They did smush my hat just a little bit, but it happens to the best of us. All right, now this one, along the same lines. I know, I know, I can't help it. I can't help it. Um, this is just a CJ Banks, size 2X. And it has the cute little penguins on it. So it's very much a winter. Um, this one has Christmas lights. So it does have a hint of Christmas in it. But it's just this really cute. And see, I don't know if this color is going to be good on me. So I may be selling this one again. Because I kind of got that one for me. Oh, look, there's a note. Ooh, there's something free in the note. I shall open it. Hold on. Uh, you can go over there to be washed. Do, do, do. All right. Anyway, I hope things are going well in your area. I'm just, you know, what is that? It is a little vial of glitter. It's a little vial of glitter with a finding on it, like a feather. I am intrigued by this and I don't know. It's, I need the neon glitter in a vial. Kind of fab. All right, I'll put you down here so I don't lose you. Okay. And the color tissue paper again. I know people like to wrap in tissue paper. It is best if you wrap in white because if this box got wet, this would have gotten all over the cream sweater and all over what is in here because tissue paper, as you know, does fade. Oh gosh, I got this for me. Hopefully, because I think it's it's super see through. But it's just really cute. This is just a Democracy 2X, but it has the fab fruit on it. Look at how cute that is with the ruffles. I don't know if it's going to be too blousey, but
but I just thought it was super cute. Again, the cream is not my best color. Can I wash you? I hope I can wash you. Do, do, do. Anyway, I just thought it was super cute. And as long as I was buying this sweater with the <clears throat> penguins on it, I needed to buy something else so that I didn't pay shipping on just one thing. Let's see. Rayon. Yes, I can wash you, but I line dry you. Okie dokie. And last but not least in the box. Oh, I got fuzzies everywhere. Shocker. Oh, by the way, the hair. So I was filming. I brushed my hat to film a video and I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. So it's a whole thing. Like washing takes a whole day to dry, etc. It's curly hair. But anyway, so brush it out. Just be like, hey, this is why you don't ever brush your hair when you have curly hair. And it's like sticking out to here. But then I needed to get it out. So I just put it up. I didn't realize it did this. And I slept in it like that last night. And then it's just kind of stayed there. And I'm not mad at it. I don't know if I could ever recreate that on my own, like intentionally. So there we go. It'll just stay there until I take it down to wash it, which is tomorrow, because that's the wash day. Oh, jeans. Okay, these are vintage Venezia. So that's what Lane Bryant's brand used to be. Uh, size 18. Oh, they're petite. I don't know if they said they were petite. Anyway, they're just high waist and long jeans. No stretch. Um, just checking, you know, for wear. A little, little wear there, but it's not like through or anything. So anyway, just some nice definite mom jeans. I will try them on. I will probably be selling them just because high rise mom jeans and I do not go along because my booty too big and then my waist is small and then there's like a giant gap. That's why I never wore jeans until low rise, but for me technically mid rise jeans came in because otherwise I had giant gaps. Very uncomfortable, very not cute. All right, we got this. So those are just some things that I purchased to resell online or to wear. And actually this one, a lot of those were to wear because you know, I just, I felt the need and I don't know about this one. I just, I can't explain this one. I, I really can't explain this one, but it's so cute. I'm a sucker for, I'm cheesy. That's just all it. Hope everything's going well with you, that you're out there making the world a better place, taking care of yourself, taking care of business and uh, making sure that everything that you can possibly do to make your life easier, you're doing. So take care of yourself. Yeah, I was rambling and now I'm going to stop rambling and go get to work taking some photos. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.